I use WordPress to blog all my research and plans. This allowed me to have all my work in one place so I was able to access work if necessary. To conduct my focus group, I use YouTube. This allowed me to show my target audience three different teaser trailers. Using YouTube allowed me to pause, rewind and stop in order for the audience to get a good understanding. To record my focus group, I use a voice memo app on my iPhone. This allowed me to record sound clearly and for a long period of time. In order to put all my research and planning that one paper, like my storyboard, I used a scanner to scan all my work in and then I was able to place them on the blog. For the research concerning my magazine cover and film poster, I used Google to find appropriate templates that I could look at to help me understand the conventions and take ideas for my own. Google was easily accessible and straightforward to use, therefore I didn't waste much time assessing my sources. Camcorder. The camcorder allowed me to pick up different shots and angles very easily and it was also very light to carry around. To pick up sounds, I used a microphone and a boom pole. The users of this particular equipment allowed me to pick up my active sound without the interference of any extraneous noise. The tripod allowed me to do clean shots like panning. It also allowed me to alter my actors' props while keeping the camcorder in a particular place, which I found helpful. When making my magazine cover, I used Photoshop. Photoshop being a sophisticated program for editing gave me all relevant tools I needed, such as the magic wand and masking. However, I did find adding text was more complicated, so I decided to add text on Microsoft PowerPoint. But overall, I found the functions of both programs a good way to create the magazine cover. To make my film poster, I decided to use the same picture as what I used for my magazine cover, but this time on PowerPoint, because I wanted the film poster to be simple, but have the conventions of the horror genre. All I needed to do was add text, and I again found this program was more easier to use because the tools such as word art were more straightforward and I was more familiar with it. When it came time to edit, I used the software program Final Cut. This program allowed me to cut parts of the scene I didn't quite want. Also, I was able to slow down or make scenes faster. This was important as it allowed me to keep in a time minute of a minute and a half. I also used motion to create text, as this software was less complicated and it allowed me to illustrate horror through text.